When Trey Songz isn't busy working on his music or feeding the city and giving back, he also likes to unwind at his Bell Canyon home whether he's playing ball or just hanging with his son. You guys have been requesting a look at where Trey calls home so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Although he used to live in Florida, these days he's upgraded to his current home on the west coast and we've got all the details, I even found some of the listings. Tremaine Neverson, better known as Trey Songs, is a singer, songwriter, and actor. He's had plenty of hit songs over the years, and his highest charting single was actually Bottoms Up featuring Nicki Minaj. In 2012, Trey released his first number one album, and he sold over 25 million records worldwide altogether. Let's not forget about Trey's acting career either. Who is that? Hey! Hey! Go. Who remembers that role in Texas Chainsaw? I'm pretty sure I watched that one with my mom. So uh, instead of what's supposed to be a quick stop in and out, see what it's about, we end up staying the night thinking it's going to be cool and, you know, some people die. I know that Trey also has a huge fan base because he's considered a heartthrob. Yes, he's talented and in great shape, but he's also added another reason to make his fans melt, fatherhood. The singer states his son Noah has changed his life and made him a better man. Who wouldn't think this is super cute? Hmm. 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 At the time of this recording, it's assumed Trey has a net worth of 15 million or somewhere around there, so not too shabby, and his mansion the canyons was also a great investment considering its value only keeps increasing. Hey guys, it's Kara and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at where Trey Songz calls home like his current modern mansion in LA, his previous place in Florida, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of 2 Chains and Jason Derulo and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Before we look at Trey's current spot, let's see where he used to live in Florida and if we're comparing his home now is a definite upgrade. Back in 2010, Trey purchased a condo in the heart of downtown Miami for 670 k according to reports. It was located on Brickell Key, which is a gated, man-made island just off mainland Brooklyn, Miami, and a highly sought-after area. Trey's apartment was on the 24th floor of the high-rise called the Courts at Brickell Key, which is considered a luxury building and offered amenities like 24-hour security, valet parking, concierge, fitness center, and of course, a pool. Although Trey's condo was nice, looking at listing photos, it wasn't quite fit for someone of his celebrity status. Inside, it spans 1,626 square feet of living space and had two beds and two baths. The condo featured an open floor plan, surround sound speakers, and tiled accent walls. Comparing older photos of the apartment and more recent ones, we can see that it was upgraded before a wall tray was living there, giving the place a much more modern look. The outdated kitchen was given new stainless steel appliances, sleek cabinets, and black countertops. Much of the main living area was switched out the old and somewhat boring color palette and improved the space with lots of bright white walls and gray and black accents. The main bedroom offered large glass sliders letting in a ton of light, and the condo came with two separate balconies, one being oversized but both with breathtaking views of Miami and the port. The larger marble bath in Trey's former condo had heated floors which was a nice touch, as well as a mounted shower radio. When it came time to part with the place, Mr. Steal Your Girl had some drama with this condo, at least that's what I heard. The listing came just days after Trey settled a lawsuit against him by the Brickle Key Homeowners Association, according to court records, where he was accused of not paying monthly fees one month. The association tried to foreclose on the condo for a grand total of $1,722 in unpaid bills, but I don't think that ended up happening. Whatever the case may be, Trey was desperately trying to sell the place. Although he first listed the high-rise unit for 1.5 mil, he didn't see offers at that price and slashed it down to 975 k after a few more price cuts, the singer still couldn't get rid of the condo, and finally, he had to let go of the spot for a painful and much discounted 750 k But I mean, hey, at least he still got more than he paid for it. And then, Trey was off to the west coast. 
Before we get into Trey's current residence, there was another stepping stone in between, a $35,000 per month stepping stone that is. In 2013, while still owning that Miami condo, TMZ reported that Trey was renting out a massive mansion in Hollywood, right next door to Neo nonetheless. By the way, whatever happened to him? Anyways, this mega estate was the definition of party mansion, and not just because of the way it looks. If the place looks familiar, it's because it's one of the four mansions built by the same guy, Danny Fitzgerald, and all on the same street that have been rented out for reality shows and other celebrities like The Beebs and The Weeknd to name a few. Although neighbors have complained about the party compound, it is what it is. Trey enjoyed this modern mansion in the Hollywood Hills for a period of time and I'm guessing he entertained some parties himself. The home spanned 13,000 square feet and had 10 beds and 12 baths, so I'm not surprised it set him back 35k a month. Maybe that's why he couldn't pay the Miami condo bills. I'm sure this mansion had some role in inspiring the permanent move to Los Angeles, although Trey's home is on a much quieter street now. The modern design home was full of floor-to-ceiling windows, glass staircases, and other lavish touches to make you feel rich. There was a slew of glass balconies all around the place, and the multi-level home also had an elevator in case you were too lazy for the stairs. Trey's rental mansion had a kitchen with bar seating and views of Hollywood, as well as stainless steel appliances, double ovens, and even more than one fridge. There were multiple common areas, including a games room with lounge and TV area, fireplace, full bar, and billiards table. There was also a movie theater with another pool table, rooftop pool, and much more. Looking at pictures of this place, is it just me, or does this mansion look like what used to be the clout house? I mean, look at the Hollywood pool. I swear it's the same place. Although I'm sure Trey enjoyed some time at that party mansion, he decided to make a more mature decision and actually become an LA homeowner in 2016. Trey bought a contemporary mansion in Bell Canyon for $3.45 million, which is still where he lives to this day. Bell Canyon is a gated community in the hills by Ventura County and only a few miles north of the famed Hidden Hills hood. While Hidden Hills and Calabasas are only a stone's throw away and tend to steal headlines thanks to the Kardashian-Jenner clan residents, Bell Canyon is very low-key in comparison. Trey managed to score just over one acre of property here and his contemporary style home is fully private and secure. The multi-level house was built in 2013 and spans about 7,800 square feet of living space inside with six beds and eight baths, not to mention gorgeous mountain views throughout. Walking in Trey's mansion, you're greeted with a grand foyer with double height ceilings, full wall of windows and staircase to the upper level. There's an open concept living and dining area just a few steps down from the entry hall. The interior of the home is both modern and elegant with glamorous fixings from the chandeliers, the sparkling wood floors and white fresh color scheme. Trey's gourmet kitchen has an eat-in bar, state-of-the-art appliances, center island and breakfast room. It also opens up to another family room close by which has a fireplace set with an herringbone patterned stone wall and retractable doors leading outside. If that's not enough space to hang out, there's a massive lower level rec area as well where you'll find a kitchenette, wet bar and games room. Not to mention a home movie theater because what mansion is complete without one of those? Trey's master suite looks nothing short of luxe, even in the listing photos. There are sparkling chandeliers, fitting with the vibe of the modern home, a built-in fireplace, mounted TV, a bar, and balcony overlooking the pool. If that's not enough, his attached stone bath offers dual vanities and another flat screen to watch while you take a bath. And of of course, there's a massive walk-in closet for Trey as well. Since all that space in the main building isn't enough, you already know there's a separate guest house. The guest house spans 900 square feet and is complete with one bed, one bath, a living room, and even a kitchen. Outdoor features of Trey's house include everything from an upper wraparound balcony, patios, a dining space, barbecue, and more. Not to mention the sparkling pool and spa and a lighted basketball court which we know Trey makes use of. Finally, his property even has its own orchard. Of course, any house this size has ample garage space, but Trey, unlike many celebs, isn't actually known to be an avid car collector. When it comes to cars, he's mostly been reported driving a Mercedes-Benz worth 63k, which he loves so much that on a scale of 1 to 10, he marks it an 11. He also cruised around this nice black Audi, but I think it belonged to Billboard, not Trey. So now we've gotten a look at Trey's songs and where he calls home, like his Miami condo that sounded like some bad luck, his current modern mansion in Bell Canyon, and even one of his rentals. Out of all the places we looked at, which one was your fave? I definitely like his current home best. The rental was way too party style, and he's definitely too famous to live in a simple condo like his previous Miami place. The current property is mansion size with all the features fit for a celebrity from sparkling chandeliers, a movie theater, and a gorgeous pool. Anyways, you guys let me know what you thought in that comment section as well as what other celebrity dwellings you'd like to see. Don't forget to like, hit subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye!